Ms. Brueger, you are here to prove to the defendant that your son, Parrish Brooks Jr., was fathered by the defendant's grandson, who was tragically killed two months ago in an auto accident. Now, Ms. Warner, you are here with your granddaughter, and you don't believe Parrish Jr. is your great-grandson. No, Your Honor. You say the plaintiff has dragged you to court today because she wants in on your family's land and oil trust. Yes, Your Honor. All right, you claim your granddaughter knows for a fact your grandson was sterile. Yes, Your Honor. What do you believe Ms. Brueger's motives actually are? Money, gold digger. Right after Parrish got killed, she went for Social Security. And uh, Parrish, I know Parrish had told, him, told her about the land we had in Texas. You know, she was just trying to cash in on him. And she wanted a father for her girls. Ms. Brueger, you say he is, in fact, your child's father. Yes, he's my son's father. We live together. Everything, we're in a relationship. He asked me to marry him. That is my son's father. He never denied my son. So I don't see why they are. And the fact that they're saying he was sterile, he was never told by a doctor. That was just him because he never had a child. Me and Parrish clearly had a conversation before he passed that he wasn't sure. And so when you say he wasn't sure, what did he say? Because he's just like, Chas, I don't even think I can have kids. All he wanted his whole life was a baby. And then he gets with Rochelle and then she comes pregnant like a month or two later. He didn't even think that he could have kids. Excuse me, I have to say something. They wasn't together when Parrish was deceased. He had another girlfriend. They was not together. We weren't together when I he have to tell died. You. No. No, you guys but wasn't together. That's what she said, said ma'am. Okay. We lived together. We were a family. He told everyone my girls were his stepdaughters. He called them his stepdaughters, everything. He was there through my whole pregnancy, all the doctor's appointments, everything. And when you had the baby, was he at the hospital? No, he couldn't be there. But as soon as he got out, he was adamant about having the hospital hold on to the birth certificate before they turned it in so that he could sign it. So, as do you have proof home, of that? Yes. Ms. Brueger, explain to me. This is actually a voluntary acknowledgement of paternity that yes, Parrish Sr. signed. Yes, Your Honor. He acknowledged paternity. Yes. I am the legal father. You have this in writing. This is his signature. Yes, Your Honor. While you were in this relationship, Excuse he's going me, to Your doctor's Honor. appointments with you, and he's excited about the baby and calling your girls his stepchildren. Is he expressing any of this excitement, Ms. Warner, Ms. Beasley, to you that I'm having a child, I believe it's mine? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Our kids... But you just don't yes. believe it is. Yes, Your Honor. You had a shower? I had a baby shower, yes. Did you attend, Ms. Warner, Ms. Beasley? No, Were you I, a did, part I didn't of that? do anything. I was, Your Honor. You did? Yeah, I did go because of Paris. Paris was alive then. That was his baby. But to me, that's not his charm. He loved the baby, Your Honor, but the baby doesn't even look like him. He doesn't act like him. His forehead's not... Li There's nothing about him to tell me that that is my grandson. The baby... My son looks... No. No, he like doesn't. Around Where? his eyes, he looks just like him. No, he looks like his grandpa. Not... No, that's not... His grandpa... His grandpa ain't never did nothing for, for Parrish. I don't know what... No. Well, I... That's what y'all say. <laughs> she my raised son him. has been born... I raised Parrish. Since my son has been born, the whole time I was with Parrish in a relationship... He's been the one that's been around. I invited them to my son's uh, first birthday party. They didn't show up. That's not my son. That's why I didn't show and up. And if y'all felt this way about my son, why did y'all never say nothing when so he was much. born? I loved Parrish so much. I when his father was alive. I loved Parrish and I wasn't... Question. Parrish is it... no longer here. He's no longer here now. But if y'all so felt that this was not his I son, can that why now. wouldn't you say something when he was alive or when my son was born? Because I wasn't going to hurt Parrish. Parrish wanted never the been, baby so they bad. They've never been around So wait, what I'm trying to understand from the situation, Miss Warner, is... All this time, even when the baby was there, did you have doubts about yes, the paternity? Yes, sure. But I wasn't there? gonna say anything with, with uh, Parrish. You just didn't want to anything. upset Parrish No, I did senior. not want to come between Parrish and that baby. But now Parrish is no longer. I can say my piece now. And the real truth is, you were his grandmother, but you raised him. He was really like a son to you. Your Honor, his mother died in 85. I'm the only person was there for Parrish. That's why I just couldn't hurt him because of this baby. He didn't, he didn't have a family. His dad over there didn't ever... That didn't ever come never? by. Yeah, you... 
come on now with never. Well, come on now. It seemed like never. Come on now. It seemed like never. You know what? Why does this get me and him had a better relationship than y'all did? Because he didn't live with you. All right, let's get let's get some order. Let's get some order. In your court papers, Miss Brueger, you say that his family didn't even tell you when he passed away. Is that true? Yes. I got a phone call from one of my friends that seen it on Facebook. They had just found out that morning, too. But you would think me What was I'm grieving. That was my son. I didn't have time to call nobody. One of my friends seen it on Rochelle, Facebook you have and called me. They didn't even call his from. father and let his own father know. They, they the found it out. Him. Excuse me, Your Honor. They found it out on Facebook. Someone else called the coroner's office. They released all of his information. So when I'm looking at Facebook at like five o'clock in the morning going to work, I see it. I call my grandmother. Grandma, have you heard anything about Parrish? I had just talked to Parrish the Friday that he died at like 10 o'clock in the morning. They weren't in a relationship at the time. And they so, were together. I still have his son. Well, but you guys... We don't well, have to I be together at the time. for me I to was... know I'm still stuck happening to raise our son by myself. Well, I still be... That, so if I, you really I cared parents, about your grandson I raised... and you know that he said this was his son and he loved him very much... And that's why she's here today. Wouldn't you want his son to know I, I, that he no longer has a father? That's why I'm here. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Parrish felt that she used to have some dude come over to the house whose hair he was, she was always doing. Your Honor, Never got paid for it. Parrish apology. didn't like that because right. he would call my grandmother and clearly state it to her. He, to he was told me plenty of times that Rochelle was broken, that she was tainted, and that's why he had to get out of the situation. So, when you would talk to Parrish, Ms. Warner, he was mm. saying he needed to get out of the situation? He was saying she's group? broken, Grandma. I cannot fix her. He says she's crazy, Grandma. She, this guy keeps coming over there and doing her hair. And he's, he's not even... She's not even getting paid for doing his hair. So, what a is man would over just there? come over to the house and get his hair done. Right. And, and she wouldn't even get any... accept any money. This is what he told me out of his mouth, Your Honor. This is a So, thing. he was intimating that he maybe thought she was cheating. With this guy? Yeah. He'd come home and the guy was there. And Who is this guy? I don't know. You I just had a guy him. over to the house doing Your Honor, his hair? first of all, I have a degree in cosmetology. So, I do hair. When me and Paris first got together, there's a guy I've known for years. And He's my brother's friend. I've been doing his hair for years. It happened one time I was doing his hair. Paris came home. He got mad about it. I never had... I stopped doing his hair. He never came back over again to get his hair done. And then, Your Honor, there was also times when Parrish would call my grandmother that Rochelle wasn't picking him up from work. He was late to picking her up, and she couldn't explain to him on why all that was happening. There was times when she kicked Parrish out. He came to my grandmother's house. She had to give him money to stay at a hotel room. Your Honor, the only time he was staying at a hotel was after he was gone out of my house. The girlfriend he had after me... They lived in a hotel. When he was living with me, we lived together. We had a house. Your it Honor, was but my you house. put him out. I yeah, put he, him he out because from, he was not I'm making sorry, right choices. You. So I had to make a choice to protect my children and put them first. And if you are grown, <laughs> you need to be a man and do what you need to do. And he wasn't doing that. So I had to make the choice. I put him out. We still were talking. But he knew in order for him to come back home... You wouldn't even let him bring him over to my house, Michelle, so we could... And why? I don't know why. You but watched my family. son one time. We ch- we trusted you with my son when he was like two to three months. But he's growing. She did not feed my son all night. We trusted you with my son when he was like two to three months. But he's growing. She did not feed my son all night. No, no it's no, not. No, that, that didn't. Go, it didn't go like that. Don't she say that. She brought him home. They didn't in the like... car seat without him being strapped in. You are, you know, the no. seatbelt was over the car seat and the car seat was turned backwards. Your and Honor, Paris was even mad. I'm sorry. And he said I have in. to tell you that. Let he would never let her that. keep our son. No, what no. happened oh, no. was that was a talk and pick up happened. the phone on his own. What happened now? My grandmother was under the impression that baby Parrish was on breast milk. I'm so, a great grandmother. I, I'm not, a, you know, so I didn't know this up to date stuff. And they brought him a bottle. They told me to feed him, and I left. He wouldn't take the bottle. I left it out. I tried to call them all night long. I was paging them. 
Nobody would answer the phone. She didn't Finally, call my phone. She called the car, him. And I took him over to the house. They didn't want to come to the door. You know, I was panicking because I wasn't used to keeping little babies. And that was it. And I didn't know when you were trying to, to give him the milk, he didn't want to take it. Right. And, then and so you thought it was going... because he wanted yes, his Shana. mother. Yes, so you... Shana. Okay. Okay, I have a question, though, Rochelle. If it comes back and that is his, are, is my it grandma is even going to be able to see, see the baby? You cannot... You act so funny. You right. act so she funny with him. I'm so funny, but, but why you act so funny the, with why her. Why the baby I wasn't there because my one-year-old was birthday. sick. I invited That's why. you to and his I talked birthday. To you. And what did and I tell you? And you didn't show up. And what so did I tell you? So how are you guys so going to say another that baby? I don't invite you guys? I'm done. Did I you did guys know. ever come to my I house come. to see him? I you did. came a couple yes. times. No, you never I didn't. Did. I have I have my own kid. Let's just and be Paris, real about it. But how many I have times my own. Did... So no, I didn't oh. come. I have mine. Okay. I have my own I'm kids. I still my grandma. Packed up my kids. My grandma and went cares to her about house? him. Parish cared about him. I'm asking for him. She has came to my house. Yes. To see my son. Like maybe three times, four. Every time they have seen my son, me and Parrish packed all the kids up and we had to go to their house. After my son was born, my family was at the house all the time, coming to see the baby to the point where we're like, oh my God, go home so we get some rest. He was mad because he felt they were not embracing the fact that he finally did have a kid. And they I can see that that hurts you because you remember that it hurt him. Mm hmm He was like, you know, I thought I couldn't have kids for all these years. Now I have this son and they're not embracing it. However they feel about me, feel how you feel about me. But them trying to keep the ashes from my son, if my son is entitled to... I don't even have the ashes. Money, ...anything that he should be entitled to... Your Honor, that's they're, why we're they're not, When they that's keep the stuff, it's not hurting me. Well, Ms. Brewer, they were clear. They think you are just interested in the money. The money doesn't come to me. The money will go in an account in a trust fund for my son. It doesn't come to me. Okay. I'd like to hear from your witness at this time. Sir, would you please stand up at the podium? Yes, ma'am. State your name for the court. My name is Claiborne Harvey Jr. And Mr. Harvey, you are? Parrish's father and Parrish Jr.'s grandfather. And what would you like to add to this situation? All I want to say, first of all, is we're not here to assassinate each other's character. And I will admit that I was not there Okay. As much as I could have been okay. for Parrish. Okay, well... You know? Right. But they didn't say nothing about the pack, the part where I tried to get custody of my son, Parrish, when he was a baby, when his mama was out in the streets doing things that she wasn't supposed to be doing. Okay, don't even go there. I'm right. not going there. I'm just saying. I tried to get custody. He doesn't have my daughter. I tried to get custody. I tried to get custody. Don't try to go. Don't go there. You know, I loved her daughter, so I don't even go there don't with that fake there. crocodile tear. Don't, don't, yeah, don't go there. Them fake crocodile. You know, where the tears Family, at? I need you to bring it down. I know this is an emotional time. I know it. I'd like for you, Mr. Harvey, to testify as to why you are so certain that Parrish Jr. is, in fact, your son's son. He was proud of his son. He told me that was his son. The boy got a little bit of me in him. He looks like me sometimes. Your Honor, we just want to make sure that little Parrish is Parrish's. And to be clear, your doubt is rooted in him possibly being sterile. No. And, then I, and then it's just, he just looks nothing like him, like... And the lack and of I family resemblance. Joke. Yeah, and I always used to joke with Parrish, like, no, nah, he's too cute to be your baby. Like, me and him always joked around like that. You know, I still love my son, even though he's not here. I love him to death. We shouldn't even been here. That's his son. He would not have wanted this. That's why she never said nothing why he was alive, because he told everyone this is his son. If... It wasn't for him, my son would not have been named Parrish. He was adamant about him being named Parrish Jr. He should be. He's, if, he's so thinking if it's his first born. He should have been. There's no reason for you guys to. You guys yes. have no legitimate reason. To yes, that was. Yes, it is. And then it just goes to, like, you low key manipulated him with the baby. And then it goes to He's that. He's a grown man. There's no way I could did. manipulate you someone. You did. You did. Okay. You did. The only way to move forward, I think, is to get the results. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> Before I read the result, I just want to be clear that in order to determine if Parrish Brooks Jr. is the child of Parrish Brooks 
Sr., the deceased, we performed a grand parentage DNA test. We fortunately had Claiborne Harvey's DNA. The results will determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Parrish Brooks Jr., and the grandfather, Claiborne Harvey. Are we clear about that? Yes. Okay. In the case of Bruger versus Warner, when it comes to one-year-old Parrish Brooks Jr., it has been determined by this court, Mr. Harvey is related to Parrish Brooks Jr. Therefore, oh. Parrish Brooks Sr. is also related to Parrish Brooks Jr. Okay, I owe you apology. Something we already do. I owe you apology. Something we already knew. Well, well I, now I I'm know. sure. Okay. Sure. You had no reason to be unsure. I'm sure. And so I'm... for this child's sake, let's start new. The truth is always a great starting point. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Washington, you say the defendant, Ms. Steinhardt, was a two-night stand that went too far. And as a result, she's claiming you fathered her three-month-old daughter, Amaya. Your fiancé, Ms. Calmer, says your relationship is in turmoil because of Ms. Steinhardt, and you're both desperate to prove you are not the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, yes. Ms. Steinhardt, it is your testimony that you and Mr. Washington were in a relationship and planned to have this child together. Mm -hmm. You say mm -hmm. you have no doubt that Mr. Washington is the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Washington, why do you think Ms. Steinhardt is trying to pin a child on you? Because we, was, we had a little thing going on a couple months ago because me and my fiancé got into a little argument. Well, the real reason is because she just wants my family. She wants Nobody to be wants me. Nobody wants her family. First of all... Nobody wants her family. You know Nobody something. wants this man. Call me every day when you was pregnant, knowing that I was pregnant with my child, to oh. talking about your child like I was gonna even put my two cents in your conversation. You're the only one asking no, for a DNA not... test. All right, he so, lady, yes, he about was. DNA he test. said that wasn't his child, so that's he's what I'm He's telling you with. that, but when he's with me, it's a different no, story. No, I never told you that but was my that's child. That's not what he said. He said it in front of you when we had you on speaker on the phone. Because you he was with you. you was because he you was, was with stuck. you. All right, he's not so with let's, you. let's talk one at a time. That's your position. Yes. You say Your that's Honor. not true, Miss Steinhardt. No, that's not true. Nobody's jealous of her. Nobody wants her family. I just want him to step up to the plate and take care of his daughter as we plan to. So, uh, Mr. Washington, tell me how this relationship started. Well, me and my, me and my fiance got into a little <laughs> disagreement and then we... I, went, I was staying at a friend's house, and I met Teresa over there. All right. And he asked me if I was seeing anyone. I said no. I asked him the same question also. I said, are you seeing any, anyone? He said no. No, that's I a said, lie, Your Honor. Then we took it from there. We was together, like, that whole week, and... When you say together, that means having sex? No, uh -huh. like, we was just, like, hanging out. Okay. He took me to his family member's house, introduced me to his family. Let's get it straight. The basement of his family's house. <laughs> <laughs> No. The, fam no. the, the family member keeps it family. real. They told me the whole story. You was chilling in the basement. Don't, don't, don't try to make yourself feel relevant, because you're not. <laughs> okay. And so, Ms. Steinhardt, how did you find out Mr. Washington had a girlfriend? Um, basically, we was walking to the store, and she was yelling from the other side of the block, like, oh, I see you. And then I said, oh, I see y'all, I see y'all over there. Then they started walking like this. They out, <laughs> running, ghosts. Need to stay Sorry, the but they was out. They was ghosts. Nowhere to be found. Ghosts. I don't know what you and was on, but was nobody ghosts. was in ghosts. And so, yes, hold on. Was, to be Jordy. clear, you all were together at that time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, Mr. Washington, you were out there sneaking around with Miss Steinhardt and got caught by your girlfriend? Yes, y'all know. Okay. <laughs> I asked him. I was like, what's going on with you two? He said they was broken up and the only time he deals with her is to see his children. No, no, I never told her that. I told yeah. her we got into an argument. That's no, you did not. You did not say separated. any of that. Separated. Stop lying. Like... Never separate. So, hold on, though. So, Miss Steinhardt, in your mind, I want to understand this. You had been with him, consistently been to... He was in a whole eight-month relationship. He was never in a relationship, y'all. So, you were in a relationship, yes, in your mind. Yes, that says that we were in a relationship. Let me see those pictures, please. 
All those Nothing pictures I have already seen. I see them through Facebook. Y'all taking little pictures together? Right, on the, on the I bus. I have way more than that. Oh. And another picture that looks like you are all booed up. <laughs> <laughs> all booed up. So if your boyfriend was cheating, why would he be taking a whole bunch of pictures? That's why he, he takes a lot of pictures. I see a lot of pictures out he there. He posted it on his page. No, you posted it on your page, sweetheart. And so, Mr. Washington, Washington mad. ladies, he see, we're from ladies. Let's get right. some order. Let's get some order. Because I want to hear from Mr. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> hair from the dog himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, as the kids would say. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear from Miss. <laughs> Let's hear from Mr. Washington. So you basically started a whole different relationship, and you still were in the relationship with your girlfriend. Go ahead and tell the truth. I never started another relationship with anybody. Come here. So a sexual relationship, yeah. at least you did. Yeah. So you were having sex with Miss Steinhardt. Yes. And you were also still in the relationship with your girlfriend. Yes, I know. All right, Miss Steinhardt. Tell me about the moment you found out you were pregnant. He called me and he was like, I think you need to take a pregnancy test because I, I think you're you. pregnant. Yes, you I did. I never called you. You called, you try to contact us all the time. I never called you. You didn't call me? No, I blocked you your number. You called me from a text-free number. Let's be real you. because your phone you. was off. I never called you. He asked me to take a pregnancy test and I went down to the hospital and I took a pregnancy test and it came back positive and I let him know. Miss Calmer, how did you find out about the pregnancy? All right, I found out through social media. She posted all those pictures that you have here with a picture of a pregnancy test on the social media page and said, oh, my baby father. Mr. Washington, do you admit you were sexually active with Miss Steinhardt? Yes, Your Honor. An eight-month sexual relationship? No, not eight months. How many yes, months? Yes, it was. You're lying. It wasn't eight months. How many months? Probably like two or three. Two or three. So two or three months. months. Were you using protection? Really... Yes, two times. Two times you used protection, yes. and the rest of the times you didn't. It wasn't no other time after that. Because yeah. when I found out she was pregnant, she, I, I never seen her after that. I, yes, I, you I did. I so hold on, over all, hold on. Is it your testimony that over all those months you just had sex twice? That's Shauna. <laughs> I really did. I mean, I about. All right, Jerome. I don't buy it. <laughs> if it's true, then you chicken little and the sky just exactly. fell. <laughs> so, Miss Steinhardt, you find out he does have a girlfriend. During the pregnancy, he told me to meet him at his job and don't say anything. No. Every time they get into an argument, he comes to me and I'm telling him, stop doing that. And now you're pregnant, you say, with his child. Yes. It was, no. you pregnant with my child? Come by the job, yeah. I want to see you. Yes, no. and there's times where we was hanging out in the neighborhood and he told friends of mine in the same neighborhood, because we hang out in the same places, he told them, this girl is pregnant with my child. No, nobody tell Christina. I never told, the, never told nobody that. You the one who went around telling everybody that she was pregnant by me. Because not once have I ever heard that came out from his mouth and from his friends telling me that he said anything like that in that nature. Because listen, he doesn't want to tell you anything. But why would the friends lie for him? Those, those friends keep it a buck and tell me they see you walking with him outside. So why would they tell me that he's not saying that? But, Miss Calmer, because you do... Because he's scared listen, of you. Listen, listen, listen. So the friends are scared of me, too? <laughs> he's scared of you? No, so his friends are scared of me, too? <laughs> Crazy. Well, let the truth be told. <laughs> so, Miss Steinhardt, were there other men you were seeing during that time? No, I was 100% loyal to him because he has me thinking that we was in a relationship. If you're loyal no, to somebody, you don't let nobody, another man carry another man's baby, point blank, period. Like another you man carry yes, a... another man after she gave birth, she had the guy all up in her baby's face. That was a family kid. member. No, you said that was your boyfriend. Let's get it right, shorty. Y'all confirmed that it together was a that y'all was your boyfriend. That... She said that was my boyfriend since 2012 or 13. There go right there. Oh, and so they hold laid up hold with the... He all laid up That's a family, with family member. No, he that's has not. boyfriend. No, that is that not. Is, okay, okay, because everybody let's, said let's, we let's, got Okay, all right, all right, hold on. Hold on, let's go down to level right. five. <laughs> we on level 20. These are pictures of beautiful baby... Yes. Amaya. 
Amaya's being held by a man who is not you, Mr. Washington. No. no that is not you. No. no. And they and have so, several pictures. This is just one of them I found. And so you're saying that this other person holding the brand new baby... Exactly. Why would another man be holding your baby unless it could potentially be his? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Why are you letting him kiss up all over her? If it's, if it's Nobody another man's baby... Nobody was kissing her. That's a you family ain't gonna member. You another man do that to another man's child. Do you know who this man is? Yes, that's a, um... We're not blood-related, but he's, like, family to me and my family. His, and if you, his go down her, if you go down her timeline on Facebook, you see her sitting in his lap. Do family members do that? I was not sitting yes, on his was. lap. Stop lying. I was sitting go next to him. Go on Facebook page. Go on that page. Have you ever been intimate with this person? No. No, I have not. They just went on a date the other day. No, we did yes, not! You, did. you had pictures of it. So, listen. Let's get... Let's bring it back to Amaya. This was very entertaining. Yes. <laughs> but let's bring it back to Amaya. Okay. But the fact is, Amaya's three months old. And your testimony is that you thought you were in a relationship and you thought yeah, that's you had somebody how, what he had that me thinking. really cared he about He led you. me on. And when I found out everything, I just... I disappeared on him. So how does that feel to be pregnant and find out this man you thought you were in a relationship with is really in another relationship and his girlfriend is pregnant? How does that feel? I didn't know she was pregnant to the end because a few times I asked him, I was like, why are you always with me and never going to see your children? He's like, oh, honestly, she's pregnant with a baby girl and I don't know if she's mine. Never told her that. And so... Yes, you did. Every child she has had by him, he asked her for a DNA test from what I know. Never. All right. Never I know. So DNA wait, no, so... Best to believe I will be bringing him right here. <laughs> I never asked for a DNA test. Mr. Washington, do you have a relationship with Amaya? No. None. Have you ever seen her? I seen her one time, that's it. And you weren't there for her birth? Nope. Not You're not on her birth certificate. No. Nope. And you do not acknowledge her as a daughter because you don't believe you are her biological father? No, Your Honor. And so when you look at this beautiful baby... Oh, and yourself... Right and he was drunk when she took that picture. No, he was yep, not. Yes, was. it was after his birthday. Asleep. She even told me. She said, oh, don't show... Don't... Because she texted these picture. pictures to me. What's going on here? It looks like a dad. Basically, I was at a family member's house and he wanted to see the baby and I was like, sure. And I went downstairs to go run and do something and they, I came upstairs and they was just no, asleep. No, no. No. Way. No, that's a lie. So what happened, Mr. Washington? We was chilling. I had a couple drinks. I fell asleep. and then Wait, I you guess... were chilling over at her family member's yeah. house? Why? Because I got in an argument with my girlfriend. So, as soon as you got in an argument and had to get out the house, you went over to Miss Steinhardt's? Yes. To see Miss Steinhardt and your baby? That's not my baby. I went you... to see her. She had the baby well. And that's the first time I ever seen the baby. You was holding her. You I... rocked her to no, sleep. No, I did not. Because if he was rocking her to sleep, her arm would have been around her and they would have both been out like this. Come on. Common sense. You could tell she put that baby there. So, wait a minute. So you believe just to get at you, she she let him fall asleep and then put the baby yeah, right there and took the picture. To me and then tell me not to show him. If he knew about it, what does it matter if you took a picture of him? If you believe that's his child, what's the difference? Because he told me that night, he was like, I will help you out with the baby. I will start providing with the baby if no, you I keep your mouth that. shut. Never said that. Why would I tell you that? I never said that. And you believed it? Well, and I will I... say this. I know I have heard sufficient testimony today. And I know exactly what's going on. (laughs) Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Yeah. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Washington versus Steinhardt, When it comes to three-month-old Amaya, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Washington, you are not the father. Thank you! Now have a great day with your life and your baby. She's beautiful, by the way. He's not the father. 
Do you know who her father is? He's her father, like... I'm not. She just said I'm not the father. I'm he not the father. is not her I'm biological not the father. He's the father. only person I'm I was with. Father. I, I don't know the circumstances surrounding her conception, but what I do know from this DNA report is that Mr. Washington wasn't there. And I'm not saying he did you right. I'm not saying he even did Miss Calmer right. He got that convenience store love. That's what I call that, that 7-Eleven love. He went who convenient. But you're not the biological father. Do you know who is? I mean, I was at a party one day. I was super drunk. I don't remember what happened that night, so I could probably get a phone call out to whoever was there to see what happened. Listen, there are things as women, as men, where we all just fall short of what the standard we have for ourselves should be, could be, we wished it was. But this is about your daughter. She's only three months now. And you've got time if you do the work and ask the questions you need to ask to maybe, maybe give her a blessing that she will never, ever regret that you exposed yourself for. Because she deserves to know who her father is. Ask the questions. 